Zapier is a powerful tool that magically sends data from one online system to another. When using TicketSpice, we'll be able to automatically send data to Google Sheets, MailChimp, Salesforce, and over 1,500 other applications. Zapier works behind the scenes, so this will be a one-time setup and requires no maintenance. Just a few clicks and we'll be all set. In this case, let's create a link between TicketSpice and Google Sheets. This link is used by many other TicketSpice users for getting information to your team without squabbling over user permissions. Before we get started, let's make sure we have all the materials needed. We'll need a TicketSpice account that will be sending the information, a Google Sheets account that will be receiving the information, and Zapier that will be doing all the sending. If you're wanting to set up a new TicketSpice page, click here. If you're wanting to set up a new Google Sheets page, click here. And if you're wanting to set up a new Zapier page, click here. Once you have your TicketSpice, Google Sheets, and Zapier accounts created, we'll be good to go. Let's set this Zap up to get the name, email, and phone number into Google Sheets. Let's dive in. First, we'll want to create a Google Sheet that has the appropriate column labels. So here we have name, email, phone number. Easy. All right, let's head back over to your Zapier account. It may be good to create a new tab here just so we can quickly refer back to our spreadsheet. Let's log into Zapier and search for Ticket Spice. It may jump up after just a few characters. Now we'll want to choose Google Sheets and the receiving option, then click connect the apps. Here is where we'll choose the info that comes from Ticket Spice. The first and most common trigger event is going to be a new ticket, but there are plenty of other things that we can throw in there as well. Now let's link our account by choosing to add a new account. We'll log into TicketSpice, which grants access to the system. Choose the Web Connects page you want the data coming from. You can choose multiple pages by clicking the plus sign on the right side. Now let's choose what is going to show up on our Google Sheet we created before. There are many options here and are certainly worth experimenting with, but let's choose Create Spreadsheet Row for now. This will create a new row on an existing Google Sheet. If this is your first time logging into the Google Sheets module in Zapier, we'll just need to toss in those credentials for our Google Sheet one more time. Great! Let's choose our spreadsheet name and worksheet name. The worksheet will most likely be sheet number one unless you renamed it. This is where the magic really happens. Those columns you renamed in Google Sheets will show up automatically. And this is where you'll get to choose the data field from TicketSpice to fill in that column. Now it's time to test and preview. Congratulations, you have successfully linked TicketSpice to Google Sheets. This was a basic overview of linking two systems together with Zapier. Feel free to experiment with all the tools that Zapier has to offer. You can link our system with any of the 1500 systems in Zapier, and if you don't see the one that you need, we recommend reaching out to that organization and asking if they plan on creating a Zapier app. Thanks and happy zapping.